Technology is changing the world. It is changing how we live our day-to-day -day lives, everything, healthcare, learning, banking and entertainment are impacted. Technology is what fuels economic growth. It drives political change and it makes space exploration possible as well as enabling medical advancements. At CA Technologies, we believe that we have not just a responsibility to make a positive difference to society, but an opportunity to enrich both our business and the lives of our employees as we work together towards building a better world. So attracting and recruiting top talent is not only vital for our business, but for societal and economic advancement in our region. 900,000 ICT professionals. That is the gap between supply and demand by 2020, according to the European Commission. The European Commission put this on the top of their digital agenda. But one of the concrete actions was the creation of this Grand Coalition for Digital Jobs. This is a partnership where government, industry and other organizations pledge to provide training to students, hire interns or increase awareness of the importance of STEM and skills. So why did we decide to also join this coalition? First, we need to be able to attract the right skills to continue to innovate right here in Europe. Secondly, the current European Commission will put this as a top priority in their so-called digital single market initiative. Not enough people are choosing to pursue ICT careers or are being supported by businesses to develop the skills required for the application economy. Secondly, there is a mismatch in that too few women are choosing to enter science, technology, engineering and maths, STEMS careers. Our vision is to help build a better world by addressing the STEM skills gap, transforming the lives of young people and encouraging the development of future IT leaders. The problem is being coined the STEM cliff and you don't need to look far to find more compelling evidence of how steep that cliff is. In Asian countries, STEM students can account for up to 20% of the student population, whereas in Europe this percentage is only around 2%. To keep Europe growing, we will need 1 million additional researchers by 2020. So what are we going to do differently this year? Well, first of all, we are going to align all of our programmes around the STEM theme. And secondly, we're going to focus on three discrete audiences. First of all, on under 18s and the secondary school children. Secondly, university students. And third, societal and workplace, with an emphasis on encouraging more women to consider careers in STEM. So let's take a look at what we've accomplished to date. Deploy Your Talents is an initiative developed by CSR Europe as part of the European Skills for Jobs campaign. It involves over 5,000 companies across the continent, identifying solutions to help tackle the skills shortage and unemployment. The main goal of the Deploy Your Talents project is to relaunch technical and scientific subjects and overcome gender stereotypes by a partnership between schools and businesses. Con l'Istituto Galileo Galilei, il Liceo Linguistico Alessandro Manzoni e il Liceo Classico Setti Carraro. I think uh, that in my future job, uh, science, engineering, mathematics and uh, technologies are, will be really important because uh, I want to be a doctor and uh, these uh, topics will uh, be really useful for my future job. Partnership between the public and private sector can help bridge the gap between supply and demand for skills, capabilities and experience. We at CA Technologies Alongside NGO Sodalitas, which launched the program in 2014, we'll be in the forefront with our people, promoting in Italian schools a passion for STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, which are essential to building future talent in information and communication technology. One example is the coding event we organized last year in our development center in Prague. We brought in students to work on a coding project around security to get them really excited about coding and of course to get them also really excited about working for CA. CA works in partnership with Learning to Work, a non-profit organisation which brings UK businesses and schools together to inspire career choices. CA employees in the UK volunteer to mentor 83 secondary school pupils about the fundamentals of running an enterprise. 
and shortly before that, CA employees worked with 75 Year 9 pupils from local schools in a STEM event that saw them build, program and race robots. In 2013, CA Technologies announced relationships with two top Swiss universities, the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, or EPFL, and the Haute École d'Ingénierie et de Gestion des Cantons de Vaud, or AICVD. And we committed to invest 200,000 Swiss francs annually to help nurture and encourage the next generation of IT leaders and to help both universities to kickstart innovation. For more than 10 years, CA has worked with the Technology Partnership, a sector skills council for business and information technology. CA worked with the Tech Partnership and other leading UK businesses to develop the IT Management for Business degree. The course is now being delivered by 18 UK universities and recently the 1,000th student graduated with the ITMB degree. CA Technologies in Germany has partnered with the Technical University of Darmstadt to support top talent in universities. The company is sponsoring three students studying computer science, electronics and information technology for one year. And in return the government is going to double the investment. We believe by harnessing our internal pool of talent, we can cultivate positive attitudes towards STEM and develop a greater understanding of the value that STEM careers have in shaping society.